Uh, today we're going to be reading the letter to the church of Sardis, found in Revelation chapter 3, verses 1 to 6. Sardis was a city. And I was wondering what the people from Sardis were called. Can we can we call them sardines? <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Well, they can't complain anyway. <laughs> Let's read these uh, verses first. In my book, they're in, in my Bible, they're in red. That's a nice reminder to us that these are words that Jesus spoke. Verse 1, to the angel of the church in Sardis write, These are the words of him who holds the seven spirits of God and the seven stars. I know your deeds... You have a reputation of being alive, but you are dead. Wake up! Strengthen what remains and is about to die, for I have not found your deeds complete in the sight of my God. Remember therefore what you have received and heard, obey it and repent. But if you do not wake up, I will come like a thief, and you will not know at what time I will come to you. Yet you have a few people in Sardis who have not soiled their clothes. They will walk with me, dressed in white, for they are worthy. He who overcomes will, like them, be dressed in white. I will never blot out his name from the book of life, but will acknowledge his name before my Father and his angels. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. Wow, in English here, you only need one ear. Do you have an ear? We've got, well, uh, we've all got two. <laughs> this letter was written to one church. And in verse 6, we're told, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches, plural. I don't know if uh, maybe up to 100% of what is written in this letter is absolutely applicable to churches today to us. It was written to Sardis, but it could have been written to a church today. Let's go back to verse 1. Jesus says, I know your deeds, 
You have a reputation of being alive, but you are dead. This was written to a church that had, at that time, a good reputation. And, and how, how does anyone, a group or a person, get a good reputation? How do you get it? How does someone get a good reputation? Where does it come from? Where does a good reputation come from? How does anybody get a good reputation? Is it usually overnight? Normally it takes some time to build up a good reputation. And usually there has to be some truth to it. So the church at Sardis had a good reputation based on something that was true once upon a time. Once upon a time, their church was a church of life. Probably a church full of love, good deeds, and the power of the Holy Spirit. And, and now, when this letter was written, these things have all but disappeared. And the reputation is not yet caught up with the reality. Well, Jesus doesn't take the popular view of the thing. If he wants to know how a church is doing, he doesn't need to ask people around town. He doesn't need to do an internet search. He isn't fooled by a building with a false front. And he isn't fooled by the masks that people wear. You could say that Jesus is speaking now as a doctor. Um, and he doesn't need a stethoscope to know if there's still a heartbeat in that church.